using um, the Fed funds rate expectations, Fed funds futures expectations. Basically, we're saying the price of the Fed funds future is the expectation. We can apply pure expectations theory because there is nothing stored for the Fed funds futures. It's pure settled in cash. It's different than oil and other commodities. Okay. But if we look at this, we can ascribe very succinctly, and we've kind of talked about this before, right? This run right here, that had to do with the Fed being on hold. Okay. This run had to do with the Fed, the Fed cutting rates. If we translate that to the bond market, TNX, okay. Notice how, again, look at what yields happened, happened to yields here, right? Then we began to break lower when we anticipated the rate cut, but the inflation was too high, right? And finally, right here, we broke mid-October in a disinflationary spiral, expecting the Fed to cut rates in March. Okay? So let's take the peak here, translate that to the S&P 500, the SPY. The 23rd of October, 23rd of December, now is what is it?